It's the opening round of the sectional playoffs here in Delaware County. Games happening all around the area. The Scoop has your in-depth coverage of all the games going on this week. The Scoop's Robbie General is able to catch up with Delta's head coach Chris Overholt for his thoughts on the game against Marion this Friday. Well, this is just a culmination of the entire season. We should be playing our best football right now. Um, and, and the season kind of fades away, and our focus should only be on Marion. If we try to do too much or we're out of position, uh, they have some special athletes that can make you pay. Um, but we think our discipline is one of our strong suits, so I think it kind of plays into our hand a little bit. We have to beat them every single day. So when we came in to watch film and go through the scouting report, we had to be better than them that day. Um, when we stretched today, starting practice, we had to be better than them. When we had practice today, and it just goes on that way, it's a thousand little battles up into the real battle. Um, so if we can beat them in all phases throughout the week, we feel confident in what we can do. It's completely new season. You take one game at a time. You don't really focus on the past. You just focus on what's ahead of you and doing your job. Um, just toughness, mentality, stopping the run is a big thing, you know. Uh, just containing big plays, stuff like that, and reading like what the offense is doing. Uh, just getting back to like our keys, following our keys, and making sure every play, like you're beating your opponent, like stretching like Coach said, you're beating your opponent and winning that day. DeScoop was able to catch up with head coach Brad Hess from the West Hill Warriors to get his thoughts on the game against Union City. Well, I'm just proud of them. You know, it was one of those things we talked about. You learn from defeat. So uh, we didn't. We don't feel like we're a bad team. We feel we're a good team, and there was just things that we had to improve on. Uh, the Union City thing, as we talk about it, we're seeing which team has improved the most throughout the year. Because you look at it, I tell my guys. They beat Cambridge City in overtime by eight. We beat them in double overtime by eight. They lost to try high by eight. We lost to try high by eight. So uh, those are relatively in the same times of the year. So we'll see who's improved. And our main thing is that we're going to focus on the jobs that we have to do. And if we execute properly, let's see where the game goes. It, it, football flies by. Yeah. You know, you, you remember it when it's done for you. And you know, that's kind of my message to these guys is, we enjoy each other's company. We enjoy being together, and we do want to last as long as we can, and we do want to make a push into the playoffs, and we do believe uh, that we have the ability to, and uh, that is our goal is to continue to push on in the playoffs and to, and to stay together as long as we can. And to Scoop's Josh Shelton was able to catch up with head coach Mike Wilhelm of the Yorktown Tigers as his team prepares for their game against Western. And for us, it's just got to be one of those trench warfare games. We've got to have the attitude that we have to beat them in the trenches. They're going to run right at us. They're going to get foot to foot on the offense and say, stop us, Yorktown. So we've got to meet that challenge. But we've got to have to play with a great technique. Our guys have to get off the ball up front. Our linebackers have to attack. And our DBs have to read run pass. Well, I think for us, it's just one of those deals where um, Western will prepare for Brandt. And if we can throw Reed out there, they're not going to necessarily be prepared for, for Reed's style of offense. And uh, hopefully we can use that to our advantage. I haven't caught a ball in a couple of weeks, so I'm excited to get on the field and you know, get, get some receiving yards back and uh, see what I can do with the ball. These four years have been great. Uh, playing with guys from Riley Neal and Riley Miller to the freshman I'm with this year, it's, it's great. It's great stuff. You learn a lot in these four years, and uh, I'll miss it. But we got a couple more weeks left. And the scoop was able to catch up with Newcastle's head coach Kyle York to get his thoughts on his team's preparation for their game against Richmond. We've had a, it's it's been a really good week of practice so far, um, and you know we're we're we we feel like um, our the nine game regular season um, is nine opportunities for us to get our team as good as we can get starting this Friday. So that's our, our goal is, is to put the best team we've had all year on the field this week. Don't forget to check back on Friday after the conclusion of the Yorktown game and the Delta game. We'll have highlights from both. You can get all this coverage right here on The Scoop.